Your parents did more for you than you can ever do for them. Your mother held you inside her body and sacrificed of her own blood to bring you into this world. She almost died to get you here. Your father provided for you at a time where you couldn't even feed yourself. You couldn't clean yourself. You couldn't shelter yourself. He provided for you. He provided for your education. He took care of you and actually taking care of your mother is a favor to you. When your father took care of your mother, he actually did a favor and he's part of his ihsan on you. Why am I saying that? Because when Allah Azza wa Jal describes Musa alayhi salam, and he describes the favors, وَلَقَدْ مَنَنَّ عَلَيْكَ مَنَّةً مَرَّةً أُخْرَى in Surah Taha. We've done you other favors too. And part of the favors Allah had done to him, فَرَدَدْنَاهُ فَرَدَدْنَاكَ إِلَىٰ أُمِّكَ We returned you to your mom. كَيْ تَقَرَّ عَيْنُهَا وَلَا تَحْزَنْ So she wouldn't cry. So her eyes could become cool. So she wouldn't be sad anymore. When Allah took care of his mom, Allah is saying, I was doing you a favor. So when, thing, when good is done to your mother, then actually that is a favor on you. You owe your father, not just for, well, dad, my, I know my mom took care of me, but dad never did anything. Uh, the fact that he provided for your mom, and for both of you, the, fa the fact that he did that, the fact that he was a husband to her, that actually in and of itself is a favor you can't pay back. Even if he did nothing else. Even if he did nothing else. So in all the other relationships, it's as though you have to do the good to them. But in this one, in the one to parents, you're constantly paying back an impossible debt. It's an impossible debt. And we're going to be in debt our entire life and still not be able to pay it. That's why the best you can do still isn't enough. But try your best anyway. That's why it's وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا